Building your online store can change your life. But for a potential customer, finding a store and products in a sea of millions of other online stores is like going through a never-ending maze. So to solve this, sales funnels help you redirect potential customers to a dedicated point of entry with one single goal. Sell one specific product. So in this video, I will show you how to quickly get started with the free WordPress plugin called CarFlows the number one WordPress sales funnel builder to increase conversions and maximize profits. Now, CarFlows might have been installed when you installed a starter template design on your website, but if that's not the case, I will show you how to install it. And to find out if it's installed, just go to plugins. And if it's installed, it should appear on the list here. To get started, first you wanna make sure that WooCommerce is installed. Now, if it's not installed, just click on add plugin. And here in the search field, just type WooCommerce. Click on install now and activate. Click on set up my store to set up your store. But in our case, I'm just going to skip the guided setup. Choose my region and click go to my store. Next, you want to add at least one product. So I'm going to click on add your products. But you can also do it from here. Products, add new products. Give it a name, a description. Set its settings and price. Set a product image. Now, in our example, this is an ebook. So, in real life, you would need to add the actual ebook file by clicking on Add File. Next, click on Publish. Now, I'm going to close this. Next, you see Store coming soon. I'm just going to click on it. And once you're ready to go live, make sure it's set to Live and Save Changes. Now, before we can use Card Flows, we need at least one payment method. So, for that, we're going to go to WooCommerce settings, then payments. Here you see take offline payments. And for the time being, I'm just going to turn on cash on delivery. All right. Now, once again, let's go back to plugins. And if CardFlows is not installed here, just click on add plugin and just type CardFlows in the search field. Click on install now and activate. And welcome to the onboarding process of CardFlows. So let's click on let's start. And here you can choose your page builder, like Elementor, for example. In my case, I'm using the Spectra Builder. Click Save and Continue. And here you can see the plugins that will be installed with CardFlows. Click on Install and Activate. And next, you can select a dedicated store checkout. Now, if you click on the store checkout, you can have a preview. And actually, like this one, as you can see, the recap here is staying in place while I'm scrolling. And here at the top, you can change the logo and the color palette. But you can also change that later. So I'm just going to click on Import and Continue. Next, enter your email address to get email reports. Then click on Save and Continue. And there you go. CarFlows is set up on your website. So click on Finish Store Setup. And the first thing you see here is the store checkout that we installed. Now, if you go to the front end of our website at the moment, this is our checkout, the original checkout from our starter templates. It looks beautiful, but we can make it a little bit better. So right here in CarFlows, if I enable store checkout, and now if I go back and refresh, there you go. You can see our store checkouts, and you can see the recap here is staying in place. And if you want to edit it with your logo, just click on edit step and just make the changes you want to make with your preferred page builder. For example, changing the logo. And if I go back and refresh, there you go. So if you enable the store checkout here in CarFlows, it's going to replace the checkout for all regular products. Now let's create our first funnel. So for that, you want to go to CarFlows, Funnels, then click on Create Funnel. And here you see a bunch of funnels. Some are free and some are paid. So let's look for a free one. You can click on any funnel and then you can click and see the various steps. You can also click on Live Preview and you can even check how it looks on tablet and mobile. Now, let me close this and I'm just going to click on Import Funnel. Give your funnel a name and click on Import Funnel. And here you can see the various steps. Now we can reorder the steps, but here it doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to put it back the way it was. And here with this icon, we're going to open the settings. And the first thing we're going to do is to change the name. So I'm just going to change the first two words. And I'm going to do the same thing for the address of this step just dash run but this time with no space because it's an address so let me save it here and let me save settings here 
Now let me close this. So if you want to see the step, we just have to click on the eye icon. But right now I'm going to click on edit step and it's going to open the step in edit mode with your preferred page builder. So here, for example, I'm just going to replace an image from the media library. And I'm going to use this image. I can change the text. You get the idea. Let me hit save and let me go back to my funnel. Next, you see here our checkout step. It says no product assigned. So to change this, click here on the settings icon and we see product. We're going to start typing the name of our product, select it, click on add and save settings. Now let me close this. So now our funnel should be set. Now, if you want to add one more step, for example, click here on add new step. And depending on the plan you're on, you may be able to add checkout, upsell, downsell, thank you or opt-in. In our case, Let's add an opt-in. So I'm going to add this one, click on import and let's call it opt-in. Import step. And now, as you can see, I have an extra step. I can redirect it. Now, same as previously, I should assign a product. But if you want to see what it looks like, let's click on view step. And here is our page that we would edit, of course. Now, let me close this. And for the time being, I'm just going to delete this step. All right, now let's take a look at our final funnel. So for this, I'm just going to scroll back up and you can click here to view your funnel. Now I'm going to open it in a new browser as if I was a customer. So here is my first step. As you can see, I didn't edit everything, but you get the ID. We have a beautiful and modern page. Next, click on buy now once the customer has been convinced. And now we get to the checkout, beautiful custom checkout. So the customer would fill in the info. Then scroll down and click on place order. And there you go. You get to the confirmation page. So as mentioned before, compared to a traditional page on an online store, a sales funnel is really going to optimize the experience focused on selling one product. So now it's your turn to build your first funnel. The first time is always a bit stressful, but once you've done it once, you realize it's no big deal. Just start simple, no pressure, but give yourself the challenge to create your first funnel today. I know you can do it.